So this is the effect that we're looking for. It's a very simple click and drag to rotate a 3D object. Uh, it's actually a lot more simple than it looks, and I think it's a cool way to add some juice and flair to almost any 3D game. Like you can come up with a reason in almost any game to add a 3D object that you can rotate. It feels really nice. So here's what the code looks like. Uh, it's actually it's very simple, and there's certain things that I'm I'm kind of taking for granted in this uh, that would would lead to making a much more complicated script if you had a better system. The main thing being that I have a stationary camera, so this is kind of hard coded for where my camera is for that object. And if your camera was moving around, you would have to adjust things, um, so th that'll get a little more complicated. And then I'm also not doing any management over which three object is selected or, or things like that. Obviously, this script would not usually exist in the logic for the object itself. It would exist higher up. You would select different objects and reuse the same code. But regardless, this is just a starting point, right? This is just kind of the, the basis for the logic. At the very top, we just kind of have a state management variable for whether or not we are actually rotating, which will kind of toggle on and off whenever we uh, press the input designated. For me, it's right mouse click button. And then when I release that button, I, I set this variable back to false. For previous mouse position and next mouse position, that's just, uh, so previous would just be when, when I click to start rotating. And then that variable will get updated every frame with the new mouse position. So if I'm not moving the mouse, nothing is happening. If I am moving the mouse, since we're using the position during each frame, it's automatically adjusting for the speed or the distance you know, that we've moved the mouse. If I'm moving the mouse much further than I was the previous frame, it'll take all that into account. So then in the process function itself, you just have uh, what I was saying before about the toggling. I just toggle rotating on and off for when I press and release. And then here's the initial setting of the mouse position. I just use in the viewport. And then down here is a little bit of the math that it is a little unintuitive. It's really not that complicated if you remember if you can just kind of visualize the way that the X, Y, and Z axis work in the in the editor itself, that'll help you a lot with, with picturing this. So when I'm in the, let me go back to the editor real quick and then actually look at this cube. So this Y here, this green one here should be Y and I can kind of represent that with, it, it's kind of hard to see these variables over here on the side, but the Y in translation and rotation all, all that, it is green. So that's this green arrow. So Y is up and down. So whenever we want to rotate an object, you know, intuitively right to left or, or clockwise, counterclockwise, what we're actually doing it is we're rotating it as if we're kind of looking down on top of it. So this cube here would be, let's see if I can center this, you know, it would be kind of rotating around this green arrow, that axis. And we're doing the same thing in the code for this block. Whenever... Whenever the mouse has moved, either left or right, just based on the X position, we rotate around the Y axis. Uh, it, it might feel like you should rotate around the X axis, but uh, that's not how it works. So just keep that in mind. Keep in mind that you you very rarely rotate around the axis that you're tracking the position of because things are flipped in the 3D space. So, um, And again, it helps to bounce back to the editor and remember that the same things you're seeing in the editor are the things that are existing in the game. Now, the next one is kind of the same thing, um, but it would not work if my camera was flipped uh, to the right of my object because then I would need to rotate around the x-axis. So this this is what I'm talking about when I say it's hard-coded for my stationary camera. And you can you could practice with that just by having you know if I if I just rotated the camera 90 degrees then I would need to change this to rotate x. Okay, and then these values over here uh, 0.1 that's just arbitrary that's just to slow down the rotation, and then delta will also slow down the rotation, but uh, that's just mostly to make sure that I'm staying successful with the rotation regardless of frame rate. So it should rotate at the same at the same speed if I was running at 30 FPS or, or 60 FPS. And then the last part is easy to forget, but you need to update your previous mouse position with the next mouse position as it as it updates. I'll show an example just for my own sanity of the of what would happen if I took my camera. You know, it just so happens that my camera is looking. You can kind of see it. My camera's on on uh, kind of further away from the block on the X axis, this red arrow here. But if I took my camera and I can just 
Ugh, I'm doing this on a trackpad and it's painful. But if I take my camera over here and then rotate it this way, this is going to look terrible when I run it, but okay, well, it's close. Uh, so you can kind of see the block, but I'm, I'm on a different side now. And if I take my mouse and I, I right click and I drag to the right, it's kind of working. Or my X position is still working because we're still rotating around the Y axis. Nothing has really changed for my camera there. But if I click and drag up, now, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but I am just going straight up. And the block is obviously rotating. From this position, it's rotating clockwise. That's because it's still rotating around the Z axis, but my camera has moved. So, again, a little bit more of a complicated topic than I want to kind of explain and, and solve in this video. I just want to want to point it out that you know the script that I'm presenting is not a end-all, be-all for 3D object rotation in any situation. This is just a starting point just want to show the effect one more time. Again, this is a really cool, simple trick to add a lot of, a lot of juice and flair to almost any 3D game. I, I think this fits in nicely with, with a lot of different genres. A couple of different ways you could, you could practice with this and, and improve on it just to learn is uh, maybe research on your own how to make it independent of the camera. You know, make the rotation work the way that you want it, regardless of where the camera is. And then uh, the other thing is to figure out a way to hide the mouse so that Okay, so if I rotate all the way to the left here on the screen, I get kind of blocked by the edge of the screen when really what I would want is to wrap from one side of the screen to the other so that I could have this kind of infinite rotation uh, going on. But other than that, again, really simple. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm really enjoying learning more about 3D stuff and uh, looking forward to a lot of things in that space. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit like and leave a comment, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.